up my YouTube subscribers. Patty FML here, back with the cooking channel. You already know, you asked me for tacos. I gave you salsa verde, so let's get these tacos rolling. And what do we have today? Right now, I got chicken right here. I have organic chicken tenders, about six or seven if you're cooking for like two people. I don't know if y'all eat a lot like me and my man do, so that's about a good four to five tacos for each person. Sasson and black peppers, which I'm gonna, you know, saute my little chicken in. I got chorizo in the back. I'm gonna add that to my chicken because today I'm making chicken and chorizo tacos. Um, I have cilantro and ch chopped jalapeno. I'm gonna saute, I'm gonna season my cilantro with salt and lime juice. Where is that? Right there. Cheese, corn, you already know, and that salsa I made yesterday. So I'm gonna hand you back off to my man so that he can record me getting it popping. And we're about to start this cooking. So what do I do? I add one packet of sesame. You know what that looks like? It's right here. Get that box. Whip that open. And we're gonna toss this into, just like that, the bowl. Get ready to get your hands dirty. I hope you're not, you know, they scared to get your hands dirty. Put that pepper on there. You know, I need to hit that pour, because that's sift thing enough. Pour that on there. Ooh, all along. Add some salt to that. Voila. Now, it's time to get dirty. Come on in, baby. Show them the dirtiness. You're going to mix your chicken up. It ain't right if it ain't orange. Orange is a new black. So you don't want your chicken black when it's burnt. You won't want that. Make sure to get all orange and mix it around. I cut it into really thin pieces because I'm going to shred the chicken. So we want to cook fast and evenly. Okay. La la la. Now I'm gonna wash my hands because this is like mad dirty. You feel me? I don't like this. Oh, rinse, rinse, rinse. Might have zoomed it in your butt a little bit. I don't hurt you. <laughs> Alright. Hands. Rinse. Now it's so easy. Turn your eye on your stove. Get you a nice big round skillet because I'm going to add my chicken and chorizo. I'm just going to pull out a little bit of butter. Scrape my pan, you know. That's a little bit of mo. Voila. Voila. Alright. Hit the skillet with this butter. I'm going to pour my chicken. All of it. Make sure you get all of it. Spread it around. Just make sure you cover it evenly. It's going to be easier to flip it over. Just like that. Okay? Rinse my bowl out. So I'm going to use this later to get it out. Look, cameraman, you better be on your job. Don't make me fire. I'm about the last. <laughs> Look. Come on. Let me get this salt. Hit this cilantro over here. Add all this lime. You would use a real lime, but I'm not lazy. So, so what I've done now is added my chicken to my skillet. It's not cooked thoroughly, so I added one pack of chorizo, and I just mixed it all together, so I'm just letting it blend and cook thoroughly together. It smells good as fuck, if you can only smell this. So I'm just going to put this on low and let it evenly cook. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to get my tortillas in me. How many tacos do you want? Four. Okay. So I'm just gonna put it. Um, Speed it up. Awesome. Yeah, that smells good. 
My tacos are really simple, really easy. All the ingredients are in. Oh, my mark. Very simple. It's fine. So easy. And I say my tacos can be made within, if you got your chicken defrosted, 20 minutes to make my tacos. It's not that hard. And yesterday, you've seen it took 10 minutes to make my salsa. So a 30 minute meal. I should be like Rachel Ray. <laughs> I'm just letting this cook through. Flip these so your tortillas don't get those damn bubbles in them. Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. Got my milk, got the cream. Back with a brief intermission. You already know I had to come smoke the blunt while making these tacos. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. There will be more cooking videos to come soon. Y'all just give me recipes. What do y'all want to see? What do you want to eat? What do you want to see me cook and eat? Maybe. Hmm. So a lot of y'all have been commenting that I should just make an eating show where I get high. And then y'all just watch me eat. Which I think will be super fun. Because who doesn't like to get high and then like eat my piece? That's super cool. But yeah, comment. Let me know what you want to guys, what you want to see. Um, right now I have the chicken and chorizo in there cooking on low. No, I'm not gonna let the house just burn down while I'm outside smoking the blunt. That's so irresponsible. Make sure y'all don't burn our house down, please. I'm not, I'm not the one to blame. Your mama not about to sue me. Your nigga not about to sue me. Or whoever you is cooking in their kitchen, they ain't gonna sue me because I ain't tell y'all to leave that shit on high. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm just finishing this blunt. Um, all the ingredients I will list below, like I've said before, most of the times in this video. But some of y'all be acting like y'all hard of hearing. So again, I just use six to seven organic chicken tenders. You don't know what they be doing, so I mean these days. Them niggas be looking like they on steroids. But yeah, six to seven organic chicken tenders. You have one full packet of sasson. You have Pour your pepper. I'm not one to mess. You just pour it till it looks like it's peppery and you like it. I don't know. I like my stuff spicy. So that shit's looking black and peppery. Anyways, mix all that together in your bowl. Make sure you have cilantro. I say one bundle depending on, like I said, how many people eating this. Only me and, me and my man. So it's only two people. So one bundle of cilantro. Slice that baby up. Throw some lime and sauce on that bitch. Make sure you cut up a jalapeno. I use like one super thick one. Spicy. Yeah, and then yeah, have your tortillas, corn and flour. I'm using corn today. And then go to my YouTube video before for my salsa verde because if you use some fake ass salsa after I just gave y'all my recipe, I'm gonna be highly upset. So yeah, go make my salsa. Go pour that on the tacos. Make sure you get some cream. Pour it on there. You know, put the tacos together. And once you see how mine look, you definitely wanna go make your own. I'm gonna finish this blunt and y'all see me back inside finishing these tacos. Thanks for this intermission. Back to the local schedule program. Good. Okay, back at it from our little smoke session. I'm high as fuck, so now I gotta finish making my baby's tacos. Alright, I just took out our tortilla and put it on my side plate so I can prepare it. I'm gonna add my cream. Smear that down. Uh, add some cheese. Put it out. No matter whatever kind of cheese you like. Add my cilantro. Trench them out of line. Some jalapenos. I'm gonna go over here to my sizzling chorizo and chicken. Season in sasson and pepper. And I threw a little cilantro in here too and a little bit of lime. I'm going to carve that on. Zoom in on my baby. That looks like, that looks like, that looks like fire. Yeah, yeah, dude. Alright, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add some more lime on top. It's not really going to have lime. I'm going to grab my salsa. Spoon. Stir it up. And I'm just going to lay it 
that across? Is it like that?